the Yanoi Tong Cup is next for us then. Race number six is a trophy race. It's a class for over the 1,400 metres, headed by another derby entrant in Noble Steed, beaten favourite last start, who was a course and distance winner of the start before. Relentless Me drops back in class. Now John Plus is a pretty uh, nice winner on debut. Awesome Source makes his debut on Sunday, as does Clement Legend. Magic Success goes up to the 1,400 metres uh, for the first time. Royal Elegance run up course and distance in the last two starts. Association fans still yet to win. Gameful Jet now replaced by Amazing Saturn. Yeah, so that'll take a little bit of pace out of it with Gameful Jet not in the race. So expected to be still reasonable with uh, Primero and Jack Wong riding here for John Moore for the first time this season. Uh, likely to set up the pace for it. Let's me. I don't think Joe will want to have him too far back coming down in class with a good draw. And maybe Magic Success can posse up a little handier too from a nicer barrier. Yeah, he's up to 1,400 metres. He did catch the eye at his last start, magic success, and his work's been good since, so uh, he's definitely a, a major player in this particular contest. Come up favourite, actually, but he's uh, he's moving well enough here in the mornings. Indigenous star, another one that was just pushed out a little bit in this track work. I think he was just being a bit lazy. You can see he's snatched up now and uh, doing all right as well. There was a heavy bet placed on him for uh, a place early on. There we go. Indigenous star, he is the place favourite still at 1.8. I had to put him in, didn't I? My old favourite association fans. He's, he's behaving himself. Our hood goes back on him. He's changed tables now. Uh, he's got Peter Ho and he's got a very strong jockey on and Neil Callan, which will probably suit for us because we know he is a rogue. Right, OK, association fans. We're going to start, though, with uh, Noble Steed, who, um, on the back of winning, then placed at fourth here. Um, but from barrier nine, he now moves to barrier two. Yeah, it was like three or four wide most of this run. He, he was cruising at this stage, and then he just felt the end of it and just blew up, I thought. Ran fourth. Prior to that, was a very impressive win. From barrier two, he's going to get a nice run into it. I think he'll win, and I'm going to make him the best. Yeah, he, um, he just sort of... I don't think he went quite as good in this particular race as he did when he won. So I just wonder whether the gap between his runs might have been a little bit on the short side. Maybe he still felt a little bit, but he's definitely a lovely horse and I'd expect him to be right there. All right, OK, that's uh, Noble Steed. Nam John Plus, one start, one win. It was quite a taking one as well because he was right at the back when they swung in but found all the gaps, got up for a win. This horse can run, there's no doubt about it. He just gives away a bit of a stay. You can see he's green as well. He's sort of rolling all over the place there under the guidance of uh, Keith Young, but... Um, there's no horses around him, so he can actually build his momentum without having to sort of barge between traffic. See there, see him duck out very sharply, and then he had to be straightened up again to take that gap. Um, has got a really nice engine, this horse. Um, he's going to give away a start again, but um, hold your breath the last 100. Yeah, he'll get back. He'll be definitely running on late, wouldn't he? I'd like to see him up to a mile, but he's 1,400 still. Yeah, I, I like him as a type, actually, Andrew. I think, you know, the more racing, the better. He's just going to get better and better. Yeah, he won from Barrier 12 on that occasion. He's got Barrier 12 again. Uh, Royal Elegance. Uh, Primera's had a start in the all-weather since. And Sonic Fighter, I thought this was quite a good effort. Yeah, it uh, was a, an encouraging performance from him. And Royal Elegance is obviously a horse that um, you've got to take with a little pinch of salt. But he is going OK. Look, Primero's got the little claim going on here for, uh, for Jack Wong. But he's had quite a few chances now. I'm dropping off. Yeah, I've dropped off him as well. Um, Royal Elegance, it's hard to take from track work because he plays up all the time, but he's definitely got the ability. And I didn't mind the run from Sonic Fighter, so I'll sneak him in for four. Mm, yeah, I thought it was quite a uh, nice run, sticking on at uh, the ends there. Uh, Magic Success has uh, been a, quite an eye-catching run. He's uh, he had three starts so far. This is last time out at Happy Valley of the 1,200. Yeah, and I don't think Happy Valley suited him at all. So I'm not surprised to see them bring him back to Shah Tim where he ran a cracker of a race behind. Nice kick and have fun together. We saw that earlier on in the show. He charged into third. He's a really nice type of horse. Jenny suggested that from the paddock on a couple of occasions. I think bigger track, longer distance, good barrier, right in it. Yep, I've got him in for second. I think he can run well. Well, you see, he did catch the eye there. All right, he's our early favourite, in actual fact. You've got yes. one to beat him? Yeah, Noble Steed. I, I do like Noble Steed. Three or four wide the whole way last time, and, and he just he just felt it in the last... Yeah, it was only beaten half a length. And part of that was a huge run. You know, he's still a derby entrant, so they obviously um, rate him highly. He's only rated 60. He's on top to beat uh, Magic Success. Relentless Me, I think, will run well. Um, he should get a nice trail, low barrier draw, Jay Marrera board, and Sonic Fighter, I like the way... He finished off, but really like the one in this. This is a, a class four, I think, that's uh, got some talented young horses that will get into class three eventually and possibly even beyond. I think Magic Success, Shartin, bigger track, longer trip, perfect. Noble Steed, lovely type going forward. Relentless Me's actually been in that higher grade and he comes back. 
And Nam Jong Plus was a terrific win from him last start, but he's prone to doing things wrong. But more experience will see him elevate in the ratings too. So nine one two three. I'm happy to play the uh, the one nine Q here. Have a little stab at that one.